Hello and welcome to this film in which we're going to be looking again at noble gases in equilibrium systems. This time instead of looking at the principles which we've covered in the other film we're going to look at how the graphs might appear when noble gases are added to equilibrium systems. So we're going to look at rate time and concentration time graphs and we're going to do this as before at constant volume and at constant pressure. So here we go, here are some rate time and concentration time graphs to have a look at. Now we're adding the noble gas at constant volume, so the size of the container isn't changing. Okay, and what, remember what we said here, let's say um, we've got, uh, we'll just deal with the same reaction in all of these examples that we're about to come up with. So A turning into 2B, okay, um, different from what it was on the last film, but never mind. Okay, so I've got my backward and my forward process, which are at equilibrium. So I'm going to draw these rates at the same height. So you're probably sick of hearing me say that, but make sure that your rate time graph shows that. Okay, so when the rates are the same, the system's at equilibrium. What's going to happen when we add a noble gas at constant volume? Well, Le so the pressure's going to go up, right? Le Chatelier's principle says, well, the system's going to want to lower the pressure, so perhaps it ought to move to this side because it's got fewer moles of gas. But remember we need to consider what's happened to the actual pressure of the things that can react with one another. Okay, so the, thing of the things that can react with one another, there's still the same amount of them in the same size box. So the chances of them colliding one, with one another hasn't changed. So the rates aren't going to change. So this is a very uninteresting, or it may be even more uninteresting than usual, um, rate time graph because it shows rates that don't change. Okay, and shouldn't be any great surprise to us if the rates of the forward and backward reactions haven't changed, then surely that means that the concentrations of the reactants and product won't won't concentrations of the reactants and products won't change either. And although my wobbly lines suggest that they're not quite remaining constant, what I'm trying to show here is that the concentrations won't change either. So again, just to reiterate that, okay, if we add a noble gas at constant volume, there's going to be no effect on our equilibrium system, okay, because the concentrations or the pressures of the things that can react haven't changed. Nothing's really changed as far as they're concerned. There's just this other gas in the box now which can't react with anything. Okay, um, I don't know if we're getting the lightning flashes on camera, but it's uh, the weather hasn't improved, so let's get to the end of this film. Um, let's see, we're now adding our noble gas at constant pressure. We are still dealing um, with this system A turning into 2B. Okay, adding the noble gas at constant pressure means the pressure of the system hasn't changed in spite of the fact that we've pumped some more gas in. So the box must have got smaller. Okay. Still, nonetheless, we're at equilibrium at the moment, so I'm going to draw the two rates at the same height. What's going to happen? Well, as far as the reacting species are concerned, they're now in a bigger box, right? But there's the same number of particles of them, so their concentrations have fallen. Okay which means that the chances of particles colliding with one another is going to fall because there's fewer particles per unit volume and so both these rates are going to fall. We need to just use Le Chatelier's principle to predict which one is going to be favoured. Okay, This pressure of the reacting species has fallen so Le Chatelier says it's going to try and increase that. How does it do that? It moves to the side with most moles of gas and that's the right hand side. We're going to increase our yield of B. In other words, the forward reaction is going to be favoured. So whilst both the reactions are going to drop, or whilst the rates of both reactions are going to drop, I should say, um, the rate of the forward reaction doesn't drop quite as much as the rate of the backward reaction. And then, as usual, as they return to equilibrium, they're going to meet halfway between where they dropped to. Okay, so we've got a forward reaction going faster than the backward reaction. Once the change is made, that's going to produce more B. And then as the A gets used up, that reaction uh, decreases in rate. And the forward reaction, because more B is forming, is increasing in rate until they equal one another. Okay, 
quickly looking at the concentration time graphs, okay, just again at arbitrary heights, um, two lines here. Okay, um, as far as these two gases are concerned, their concentrations will drop, and they'll drop by the same factor, okay, because the box got bigger. So let's say, well, let's say this box doubled in size when we added our noble gas, then both these concentrations are going to drop all of a sudden to half their original value. So let's just try and show that without making too much of a mess. Okay, so that's the concentration of B and the concentration of A falling to half their original values in this particular case because I said the box doubled in size. Okay, doubling the volume. Okay, which is just an example. Okay, and now the forward reaction is being favoured, so the concentration of B is going to rise. Okay, it mustn't rise past its original value. Okay, how much has it risen by and why is that important? Well, it's risen by six squares and there's twice as much of it as there is of A. So in other words, A is going to fall, but it's going to fall by three squares. And um, it's going to fall smoothly, not like I've drawn it, but they're reach, uh, eventually going to reach constant levels when the system is back at equilibrium. Okay, so that film um, dealt with a particular type of pressure change, I suppose you could say, that acts a little bit differently to the other pressure changes we've looked at. Um, the next film in the series, as it, was, as, de as it was designed to be watched, is the film about catalysts, um, so that might be a good place to go next.